in this video, we're going to talk about this company called Natix. Now, Natix is a company that uses AI technology with cameras, and we're able to download their app called Drive-In and use our phone as an artificially intelligent dash cam. Now, when we use this dash cam, then we'll be rewarded with their native cryptocurrency token called Natix, and the acronym for that is NTXT. That token hasn't actually gone live yet, but it will in the next few months. So if this is something that you're looking to participate in, then I'll have information on the referral links down in the description below. So first, I want to go ahead and show you guys how the app actually works, and then we can go into more detail about the company and the problem that it's trying to solve, as well as the, all the information that we know about the token and NFTs and some other additional information. So make sure you hit that like button. I really would appreciate it. And let's get right into it. So up on the screen, you guys should see the home page of the app. And if you just look all the way down at the bottom, it says start earning. If you want to go ahead and click on that, then it's going to turn your phone into the dash cam that's going to start earning you points. So as you can see, this is me driving around and I've mounted my phone up on the dash of my car and I'm just driving around collecting points. Okay, this app can detect whether you're in motion or not. You have to be in motion to start earning points. And if you stop, then it's going to detect that you're stopped and then you're not going to be earning points at that time. But as soon as you start driving again, then you'll start earning points again. So as you can see at the bottom, there's three buttons here. The one that says display on, you can click on that to show the amount of points that you have and also what the camera is able to see. Or you can turn it off if it's a distraction for you then it's just going to be a black screen with the Natix logo. In the middle, it's a dash cam option. You could turn that feature on. And what that's going to do is you, you'll be able to save the last 60 seconds of footage if you just click on that button that's over to the right. And then they got a navigation feature coming in, but that just hasn't come out yet. So we'll be looking forward to that. So let's say you're done driving now. You've collected all your points and you're going to click on the button that says stop earning. And then it's going to bring you to the screen that shows you the amount of points that you've earned for that session, as well as how many miles you drove. And this is basically how you're going to start earning points. So the way this works is that you're going to be collecting as many points as you can to increase your rank on the leaderboards. The higher up your rank, the more Natix you'll get at the end of the month. And so the first of every month is going to start a new competition where everybody's going to start from zero. And then you just, everyone's gonna be trying to collect as many points as possible so that they can get the most Natix coins as possible at the end of the month. The last thing I wanna show you on the app is that on the very top right of the app, you'll see it shows how many Natix coins you've accumulated. If you click on it, you can look at the Natix coins and then the gems, and you can go to the marketplace. The gems you can use to just buy things in the marketplace on a discount. It's just products like 50% discount or 20% discount or something like that. You'll have to explore everything else on this app for yourself. So let's go ahead and move on. Now, like I said before, the token hasn't actually gone live yet. So I'm assuming this in-app currency is going to be able to be converted into the actual token once it goes live and they choose, choose a network to go on and stuff like that. So I don't know what the actual price of the token is going to be, but what I do know is that you can actually utilize it for other things besides just selling it once it goes live. And so up on the screen, I'm gonna show you guys the utility of this token. It says the Natix tokens grant the following rights and have the following functions. They're able to purchase data and island NFTs. We'll talk about that in just a moment. It can be used for staking for a fee reduction of network fees bonding to become a network actor the network actor i don't know exactly what that is but i'll have to do more research on that they can also be used for staking for the liquidity pool and token holders can participate in system governance so looking at the list on that white paper it looks like there's a pretty good amount of utility and so hopefully a lot of people won't just sell off everything once the token goes live that's what we'll hope for but it also depends on how well this project is gonna grow. Now, regarding the iLand NFT that you saw on the list, you can use your tokens to buy this NFT. And what they did is basically they divided the world map into tiles 
and if you own an nft then you will own one of those tiles and i'm assuming when you're going around with the dash cam collecting data once you get monetized for that then the the owner of the nft will be able to get a royalty fee since they own that so it's another form of passive income that you could possibly have now i don't know any more details about the nfts but i'm assuming that those will come out after the token goes live and of course you're gonna have to go and follow them on discord and on twitter to kind of be up to date with their announcements and stuff like that now you gotta wonder with this natix company what is the problem that they're actually trying to solve well in the white paper it explains that they're trying to compete against these big tech companies they basically have invested millions or billions of dollars into this data that they're not willing to share so they have a monopoly on the data that they're receiving so they're competing against these big tech companies to be able to not only share this data and make it more accessible but also to open up new revenue streams that can create billions of dollars of revenue and and boost the economy in that way and so essentially what they're saying is that the problems are only going to get worse in the future as this monopoly continues to grow and they have more sovereignty over our lives like big tech companies implementing autonomous vehicles and robots it's just going to make things worse so they're trying to fight back against this unfair usage of our data now you guys are going to have to do your own due diligence and read the white paper for yourself because there's a lot more information in there you're also going to want to follow them on Discord and follow them on Twitter to keep up to date with any details and announcements that they might come out with. But there is one thing in the white paper that I found to be pretty interesting, and that's the fact that they're going to need to use proof of location to be able to validate the data that comes in through our dash cams and cameras and things of that nature. In order to get this proof of location protocol, they're going to have to partner with XYO. And that's exactly what they set out to do, according to what I read in the white paper. And I think I've seen somewhere else where they actually do have some kind of partnership. And so XYO, they use a proof of location protocol to be able to validate data and make sure that the data that comes in can be used with a certain level of certainty. So regarding proof of location, I did make a video on it right here. If you want to click on that, you can, and I'll see you over there. But make sure you hit the like button comment down below what do you guys think of this new dpen project and also subscribe to the channel i appreciate you god bless <music>